Okay, let's start this project. First thing you want to do is create a regular motion project that's only 30 frames long. Uh, you can do 24 or 18 or something like that. It just depends on how many different angles you want when you're finished to be able to look at the pine tree. But I'll just go with 30. And the first thing you want to do is basically just draw a line. It's got some bends in it. Uh, when you're finished drawing the line, hit the return key so that it finishes the shape. And we'll do something like this. And this is going to be the basis of not only the trunk of the tree, but the branches, etc. And go into the inspector, turn off fill, and for the outline you want to change this to airbrush. Uh, change the color to a nice brown. Uh, go into the stroke, and width over stroke, dial that down and pull this down to something narrow like that. Uh, that's showing about 13%. So it's going from 100% to 13%. Go back into the style and adjust, adjust the width to something like that and I think you need to turn on uh, a line brush angle local 3D and face camera that way we'll get the illusion of a solid tree trunk and or branch click on the group and add a new group and in the new group you want to use a line and you can just start out here and draw a line to the branch that you drew, like that. Change the brush color to a medium dark green. Bring the width down to, uh, let's just go with 5 for right now. And the next thing you're going to want to do is adjust the anchor points on these. So. I'll just grab this circle and line it up with the bottom corner of the needle line and while I'm thinking about it we'll just name these shapes and for the branch and bring this down to right about there okay now we'll go back up to our needle and replicate it. And in the replicator tab you want to select the shape as geometry and drag the branch into the source well. And we can adjust the position and make sure you match up the curves just about perfectly there. We're going to keep this slow to begin with, so we'll just move the points up to about 15 or so right now. Click on the 3D because we need to have access to these other angles here. And let's just go ahead and add a camera right now and switch this to a 3D project. Go back to our replicator. And on the angle end, for the needles on the Y you just want to start cranking that up until it twists around kind of like that and you can add a little bit of randomness on the same axis and on the scale end Let's move this down somewhere around 10 to 15 percent. 
we can play with the offset a little so that we move these up the branch like that later we'll come back and we'll add more needles but for right now this is just fine the way it is and let's rename this group and call it I guess branch with needles okay we go down to our branch and select it type the K key to make a clone let's turn that off for a minute and move the clone into our branch with needles group and let's go ahead and just move this underneath the replicator next thing we want to do is select the whole group and replicate it and again in the replicator tab we're going to change the shape to geometry we're going to use the branch as our shape we're going to select 3D and we need to change the angle here and I think that's the Z angle and I'm gonna pull these out to about 90 degrees right now now let's go the other way that looks pretty good but we need to fix the anchor point so we'll select the branch with needles group turn it back on go back to our anchor point tool and drag this down to about right there and then turn this back off alright back in the replicator we're going to scale end we're going to have to readjust our anchor point again and we'll need to line this up turn off the anchor point tool go back to transform and we'll just line this up with our branches like that alright going back to the replicator we want to change the angle end to something like that alright it's going to be different for different designs of your branch but this will do for right now let's scale these down to about 50 percent and we're going to add more branches so we'll move the points up I'm going to keep it low for right now just for speed's sake um, the more you add the slower motion is going to go so uh, just for illustration right now on the y-axis for the angle end we're going to do the same thing we did with the needles and start whipping this around the branch let's go around a few more times like that you can see we're up near about 3000 degrees and you can add some randomness to that if you like you can really crank that up if you want to also and let's just keep it tame for right now and if you don't exactly like the arrangement you can click the random seed and generate new views Let's get this back around okay we 
You can add a few more branches and randomize some more. And of course, motion isn't going to cooperate right now. Let me uh, reset this and reset this. There we go. Okay. Next thing you want to do, and to finish this up on the group, you want to add a spin behavior. And on the Y axis, and set this up to about 350, 357 is good. Uh, you don't want a complete circle because the last frame will be the same as the first frame and you want 30 different frames so you're a little bit off and it gives you a slightly different view. Now let's see if this will play. Okay so we have to line up our branch again. To fix this I think what I'm going to do is clone the branch, clone the original branch again and move the clone copy into the group and now it lines up with everything there you go alright so now all you have to do is export this just use the current settings it'll be 4x4 you can check it out here and that'll have transparency this is the default settings and we'll just go with next and that'll be good Now this is going very fast because I haven't really populated the branches with a lot of needles and I haven't used a lot of branches. This is just a shortcut shows you how to do it. And this is what we end up with. Alright. And now we'll take this movie and go into a new project and create a growth. The hard part's done. I hope you found this useful. And I'll catch you on the next one.